much. Stay tuned right now for the homecoming show that Norris County Area School District is about to put on for you. It's homecoming day 1982. As we watch the players off the field, Norris Town fans up on their feet, cheering the teams into the locker room. Well, we've got some Narstown fans down there waiting for the uh, halftime festivities to begin. The Narstown band is on the field. Now let's zoom out, pan out to them. There they are, the Narstown Air High School Marching Eagles drum major Carolyn Hahn. While we listen to the Narstan Area High School marching band in the background, the floats are coming onto the field, so let's give the, a look at them for you. The first float is the NAHS Cheerleaders float, and that's entitled Renaissance. NAHS Cheerleaders throwing out prizes to the fans down there on the field. And there's a couple more cheerleaders riding by in this next car. Tabitha Scott and Dawn Colbreth up top there, the Narstown cheerleaders. And our next float is from the NAHS Eagle Marching Band, and that's entitled Sink the Vikings. And the third float, a very large float, that's the junior class 
coming onto the screen right now. And that's entitled Gobble the Vikings. And the junior class would like to thank Mr. Sayer and Bobby for this float. The Pac-Man theme on the junior float. And that float received third place honors in the judging which took place before the ball game. The next float, which just released float, which just released some balloons, is the sophomore class. And that and their uh, title of their theme is Roast the Vikings. They received the second place award here this year. Roast the Vikings. And this year's winner in the float competition, the senior class, which I'm proud to say I'm a member of, the class of 1983, and their float, Fire Em Up. First place this year for the senior class in our Stan Area High School. Class President Mike Santangelo had that first place trophy. Before we get you the uh, the homecoming, folks, the senior the senior float is stopping right now, and uh, we have an award right now. Mike Santangelo, the class president, is going to award the first place trophy to Joey Centron. Consensus gesture by the senior class. Of course, Joey not able to uh, to participate in school functions since the uh, his unfortunate accident last year. And the senior class wanted to dedicate this victory to Joe Centron. And right now we have the, uh, the homecoming court coming down on the field, which we'll get to in just a moment. Those announcements will be made from the field by the Key Club sponsor, Mr. Sam Monteleone. Key Club is sponsoring homecoming this year, and they've taken care of all the arrangements. Key Club president this year is Paul Barone. So as the court arrives, we'll have them all lined up. Of course, the, uh, the freshmen, sophomore, and junior classes already know who their representatives are. And uh, the three finalists in the senior class are Leanne Wheeler, Sharon Rittenhouse, and Monica Butler. Of course, Monica is also the head cheerleader. The representative from the junior class is Jennifer Tasca. Last year's queen will be here to uh, make the presentation. That's Cheryl Culverson. for the band to finish up before we give the announcements of the homecoming homecoming queen for 1982. I think there are about two people in the entire stadium who know who the winners are. So uh, everyone here, about all 12,000 people are waiting in anticipation. You don't know who it is, do you? No, I don't. I'm in Key Club, too. I don't, I don't even know. Sam wouldn't tell anybody. Boy, I'll tell you. You don't even get any. As of yesterday morning, the president, Paul Brown, didn't know who the winner was. So we shall see. And we're going to pan by those representatives for you. And we should be able to hear the uh, hear the names and the escorts and uh, who the winners will be, but we'll repeat them for you up here. <laughs> so am I. 
Uh, the Marching Eagles are just about finished their routine. Right now we're going to have the Narstown alma mater, the blue and white. Of course, we've got a, a lot of alums here for this ball game. And in a traditional move, we're going to hear the Narstown Alma Mater. During the playing of this Blue and White, we're seeing the Narstown senior members of the band being introduced to you.
ready for the crowning of the homecoming queen. And there's the freshman representatives. We're having some uh, audio tech difficulties down on the field. We can't hear the introductions for you, but uh, we'll get you the names of these representatives later on in the ball game. And that's the sophomore class representative, class of 85. And I do know the junior class representative, that's Jennifer Task, but I don't know her escort. Now what we've all been waiting for, the crowning of the homecoming queen. First, we want to introduce the representatives. That's Sharon Rittenhouse along with her escort. Leanne Wheeler along with her escort will be the next group. And I happen to know Leanne's escort. That's Darren Zakarian. And the final nominee for Homecoming Queen for 1983, class of 83, is Monica Butler. And to crown this year's queen is last year's homecoming queen from the class of 82, is Cheryl Culverson. Shh. Miss Monica Butler, the homecoming queen for 1982. So Monica and her cordal, well, always little tears shed by Monica. Monica, of course, is the head cheerleader for Norristown, a very popular person at Norristown Area High School. Congratulations to all of the participants this year in the 1982 Homecoming Parade. As Monica receives her crown from Cheryl Culverson. Congratulations, Monica. Congratulations, Leanne and Sharon Rittenhouse. And, of course, the other representatives from the sophomore class, the freshman class, and the junior class. And right now, we're looking at an old and worn Narstown Eagle down on the sidelines, just watching the homecoming festivities in her rocking chair and with the shawl on. Trying to keep, keep on cheering for that Narstown High team. Well, let's take a look across the field. And looks like the cheerleaders float Renaissance across the field on the Upper Marion side. This could be interesting. Looks like the cheerleaders float is rocking a little bit over there. On the far side of the field. Well. Oh, we still got everyone standing waiting for this. Let's see what's gonna happen. What, what drama? I can't, I can't imagine this. Wait a minute, Th things are shaking. Wait a minute, there's something going on over the cheerleader's float. Oh, so something's opening up over there. Wait, wait, it looks like, is, is that an egg, Alan? Looks yeah, like an egg. Yeah. <laughs> an egg and, and there's, there goes some balloons, blue and white. And it looks like something's coming out of the egg. Looks to me like a new Narstown Eagle. Wait a minute, that's, there come the cheerleaders, and that's what it is. It's a new Narstown Eagle. A brand new Narstown Eagle for this homecoming day, 1982. What an outfit, I love it. 
That's it. The old eagle was going into retirement. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, well they're going they're to embrace. The, that's right. The young meeting the old. <laughs> what, a, what a celebration on Homecoming Day 1982. <laughs> well, what a new uniform. That's better than uh, that guy who goes down to the Philadelphia Eagles games. I love that new eagle uniform. <laughs> a little bit like a mummer, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to say, but it looks really nice. I like the blue crop of hair. The other guy was a bald one, and this it looks nice with the toupee up there. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, I think that's about it for our homecoming festivities in our Stan Area High School. Back around the field for the Queen Monica Butler and her court, as well as the floats. First